Hi, Limit Break Overdrive with another Path of Exile video. In this one, I want to talk about the new Breach and Abyss. Because they change how the mechanic works alongside the Crucible League to, I guess, make them more rewarding. Um, so, right at the start, I did not take any Atlas points for Breach or Abyss. I usually pick up essences first anyway and shaping the mountains all the way up here and then I go to whatever I want to farm. So that gave me a good idea of how the league mechanics compared to last league where I did not expect into them as well. And I'm disappointed about Breach and I don't think I'm the only one but I mean the combat, thanks to the pack size it feels great. It's fun, there's a lot of monsters, pack explodes, it's... It's great, but they drop nothing. Like you get one splinter per, let's say two to three splinters per, per four breach is what I think I was getting without points. It's, yeah, it's not a, it's not a lot. And I know they had to lower the drop rate of splinters because there are way more monsters, but they remind me of crucible monsters. Like you kill them and they get you get a wisdom scroll if you're lucky. So not a big fan of that. Uh, I did not spec into Breach afterwards, because why bother? I mean, they were so unrewarding, I didn't, did not even want to take time to spec into it. So, not their best. And as for Abyss, uh, that I'm satisfied. Incision Spire spawning in maps, it's a good idea, I believe, instead of Abyssal Depths, because the draw of Abyssal Depths is fighting the Lich, getting the loot from the boss, and most of the times you were getting in a an abyssal depth and you were looking at the loading screen and if it was not the right one once you had an hostage inspired the craft for example you would just leave and not even do it because you wanted a lich now every every abyssal depth leads to a boss that's great and the fact that the spire is in maps saves us time because we don't have to run through the whole fucking depth just to get the, the stygian vice now you get the jewel the belt and you can just loot and go that is a good change and then I'd expect into Abyss, but like everything. Because Abysses were, were kind of fun. I said, all right, I'm going to try it. I'd never done that. And man, is it fun. Especially once, once you get this. And where is it? The one that gives you experience, like increased experience, increased monsters. There's so many mobs on the map, especially when the pits are spawning close. And you get the spire in map. When you do get one, they give a lot of experience. There's rare, mo rare monsters. You can get jewels that are corrupted with a lot of random modifiers. It, I really enjoy this as it is. Once you spec into it, it's great. And for experience, I was getting like I don't know how how much how much percentage of XP I was getting at like level 92, 93, but it was it was a lot. I'm really satisfied. So it's kind of a hit and miss. Like I think. They nail Abyss, but I don't think they nailed Breach and they still need to improve upon that. In my opinion, they should just increase the drop rate for Breach Splinters. Of course, when you don't spec into it, let me know in the comments if you spec into Breach, if the Splinter drop rate is fine, because maybe it is when you spec into it. So, uh, I just have not tried. So let me know in the comments down below if you liked the changes to Abyss, the Breach, what you would like to see changed in the next batch about these leak mechanics, you think they're worth farming? Let me know that in the comments, I always like reading your comments and again thanks for watching, see you in the next video.